After 13 years, the combat mission in Afghanistan is about to come to an end. But work continues for the United States Army Corps of Engineers as they work to expand and improve Afghanistan's infrastructure. Our mission for the Corps of Engineers is, is to provide quality and timely engineering support to ISAF forces across Afghanistan and, uh, and meet the needs as we're focused here to finish strong. To ensure a strong finish, the Commanding General of the Corps of Engineers, Lieutenant General Tom Bostic, visited troops in Afghanistan and delivered an important message. It's the work that you're doing that's going to make it a secure and stable environment. The work that you're doing on, uh, for the police force, the work that you're doing uh, with the Afghan National Army, all of that is going to help stabilize this country well beyond our, our departure. While a lot of their projects support the security forces, like the extensive construction on Marshal Fahim National Defense Facility, they have also worked hard to improve the daily lives of Afghan civilians by improving and expanding the national infrastructure. Well, you know, whenever you've been through a very difficult time, such as a war, the people want to come out of that conflict with the same sort of opportunities that any group of people in a free country would want. Projects like the revitalization of the Kajaki Dam directly impact hundreds of thousands of Afghans. The jobs these projects have created have nearly as much impact as the project's results, especially the highly trained Afghan architects and engineers who partnered with coalition forces on every project they undertook. But at the peak of our construction, we had over 500 that, that worked for us. They're really the future of this country and uh, because they, they are the uh, you know, engineering experts that this country needs to provide safe and quality construction for its future development. At this point in their mission, more than 90 percent of their projects have been completed. Almost all of them will be finished by the end of the year. They are certain that their 13-year partnership has accomplished its immediate as well as long-term goals. So the kind of work that the engineers are involved in, that ISAF and the rest of the team are doing, are tremendously important for not only today, but for the long-term future of this country. Reporting from Bagram, Afghanistan, I'm Sergeant Christopher Toby.